Okay, guys. So apparently, Nikita said that there was an issue with the game. They apparently have it sorted, have it fixed, and are patched. Well, I'm here to tell you that that is absolutely horseshit. It is not patched, it is not fixed, because I can prove it by actually repeating the same bug. Okay? So, Nikita, whoever is at Battlestate Games and is watching this video, watch closely. Okay? I'm going to turn off my video for a second so you can see. All you got to do, click this, click your scav. Okay? Case in point, I'll load my PMC in first. Factory. Next, we'll do an offline mode. Okay. Run it through. Yes, I'm going to be spawning in scavs. Okay. Tilde key reports no issues. Okay. Vops turned off. Okay. I'm going to load in and then just leave. Okay. So clearly you think, okay, it works, right? No, not right. Okay. Can shoot. Can do lots of silly things. Can reload. Like so. Okay. Now we're going to disconnect. Confirm leave. Okay. So clearly offline now works. Okay. You think that. You'd think that. Okay. So right. Are you ready? Are you ready for the bug to be repeated Nikita? Here you go. Now I'm on the newest newest version of the game, the newest client, hence that's why I took the camera off. So you can see down here, I'm on the newest version, 12.12.3.1.19.428. Uh, okay, click here, click on scav, click next, shoreline, anywhere, woods even. Okay, I've got a quest to complete woods five times. Okay, next, next, creating game world, loading map. You think, okay, woohoo, I'm, I'm, I'm about to get in. Okay, I see one problem right now on my scav. The fact that I have Cotton's beanie and a rare mustache. It is extremely rare that your scav is going to spawn in with two rare items on them. Especially when they contradict each other. Um, as far as I know, the uh, sorry, the mustache and the hat beanie don't contradict themselves. But my point is, you're going to see what I'm saying. So 26, 27, 28. Okay, matching. Woohoo, you think, okay, I'm about to get into the game, right? I'm about to get in. Okay, I'm a woo. Okay, okay, come on, come on. Am I gonna get in? Am I gonna get in? Okay, got a little OPS case with no optic. Fair enough. Little tea bag. All right, cool. And a, an annoying little vest. All right, cool, 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 cool. Still matching, still matching. So you think, okay, this is finally working, right? It's finally working. Okay, this this has got to be finally working. Okay, if I'm if I'm matching, this has got to be finally working. Woohoo! Right, and all this and all this, you know, yahoos! I'm Captain America and all this fun stuff. Right? Okay. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Right. Okay. Loading loot. Okay. 64%. 68. 69. Woohoo. Giggity giggity. Um, 70. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. 71. 72. Come on. You can do it. You can do it, servers. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, servers. 80. 80, come, almost there, almost, 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 ah, 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 come on, you can, you, you can imagine, you know, what's going to, you know, call in Vetic and, and whatnot, okay, 98, 99, 100, creating loot pools, waiting for the session to start, oh, 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 fuck me. I'm finally in. Took a goddamn while. Where's my X films? Outskirts. Okay. Okay, so he's dead. Well, clearly his armor didn't help him. That's a bigger bag. Nothing there, nothing there. 
Okay, so we've got a thing here, another dead scav. Ray shield. Ah, someone just tossed a flash. Alright. Let's go into the dining room. There's Okay, nothing. Got some sparats. Okay, some toilet roll. Interesting. Some ammo. set. Ooh, power filter. I ironically do actually need that power filter. Nah. You can tell all the rats have been. Alright, so outskirts is my exfil. Oh, disconnected. There you go. That's what I was waiting for. Server connection lost. Okay, so you think, all right, so the game's fixed, right? No. Now I'm on the EU servers. Okay, EU servers. Wait for it. It's going to tell me that I tried to leave the game. That I literally went Alt F4, which I never did. Okay. If you leave the raid, you lose all your loot and also receive a left in action exit status. Okay, go back, reconnect. Now, every time this happens, you're going to lose between two to five minutes. If it doesn't let you reconnect, if it does let you reconnect. So, there is no server stability. I just clearly wanted to show you that. You can loot, you can get items and various other things and whatnot. See, why is it trying to match me into a game when I was already in one? Clearly that there is something going on in the back end. Okay. Why is it loading? Do, do you see what I'm saying? If everything was already preloaded and is in the cache of my server files... I know how Unity works because I'm a, I, 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 I develop Unity games as well. Okay. In fact, I was working on, uh, uh, actually, I went from Unity to Unreal because Unreal is a lot better engine. There you go. And oh, look. Was it 16? I'm now at 12. I actually lost time. And I'm, it's not ping because ping would appear up up here with your ping when it gets high it'd be yellow red etc etc not red in fact i will go fps1 okay so i'm i'm rocking 60 frames per second all right And clearly the servers are saying that, you know, there doesn't seem to be an issue. Oh, Zukulu, that's actually a, a good field mod to find, actually. Um, I am, a, I, I do play a USEC, I, I, I only ever play USEC. Um, I know, boo, boring. But there's a reason why I only play USECs. Uh, uh, um, yeah. Usec. That's mostly because I don't speak fluent Russian. Um, I mean, it would be nice if I don't know. I, I get it, but you're starting to see the issue, Nikita. See, there you go. 
and I just got disconnected again. So that's going to be another four or five minutes taken away from my raid time. Your servers are not fixed. They're not patched. They're not repaired. They're not working as intended. And I'm sorry, all you bullshitter Nikita dick suckers that are about to say Infobaita. You know what else is a beta? You. Because clearly you don't have any alpha fucking energy in you, you soy boy cocksuckers. Alright? Stop with the bullshit excuse of Infobaita. Alright? Just stop. Okay? Stop. I play so many better beta games that they're on top of bugs and even post bugs in their reports that players didn't even know existed and are patched and are fixed. Yet, we are literally the guinea pigs. We're, we're paying for the quote unquote privilege to be a guinea pig for Battlestate games. When everyone knows that this is literally just a rip-off of Contract Wars. I understand that Battlestate Games it created Contract Wars first, which is the entire fucking uh, 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 history and IP of this game. You know, the whole fucking USEC Bear and Terror Group kind of thing stemmed from their, their Contract Wars game. A Facebook... There you go. What am I at now? Nine minutes. So, if, I, if I'm to get to my exfil... Um, I can't loot, and it's on the opposite side of it's on the opposite side. So outskirts, boat, dead man's place, and factory. So, so yeah. In other words, I if 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 the servers hold, I don't loot. I might be able to get out. Lots of ifs, ands, or buts. I am not even going to try combat. In fact, I will turn the FPS off now. So you can see the timer. So clearly it's not ping. Clearly it's not my server. It's not my internet. So you're... Excuse Nikita of, oh, it must be your computer, or it must be this, or it. No. Stop blaming other people for your fuck-up. Stop hiring coders, if you can call them that, that go to GitHub and use code snippets from GitHub. Want to know how I know you're using coders to get code snippets from GitHub? Because how do you think the hackers got past your anti-cheat the first time around? When your game had barely just come out. How do you think they get around your quote-unquote anti-cheat in the first place? Because they post their updates on GitHub. And so all the hackers have to do is go to the GitHub repository, download and modify the files accordingly to how the anti-cheat modify theirs. It's not fucking rocket science. They counter to what the anti-cheat counters to what the hackers counter. It, it, it's literally just two two martial artists basically trying to square off and see who's, who's kung fu's better. And the problem is one is a... they're both counter kung fuers. So one throws a punch, other one blocks, throws a punch, yeah, one blocks, throws a punch, throws a... It, it, it's going to be a never-ending battle because you're using coders that don't know how to code. Who cannot come up with something. I mean, all, all of these are all flipped assets. None of these buildings have, have been created from scratch. Not a single one of them. I can go to the Unity store right now and get buildings damn near identical to all of these, if not the exact buildings. This is why every car, every ruined car, looks the same. This is why every truck looks the same. All they do is slightly modify the texture or the color palette, and that is about as far as it goes. That's it. 
your crate systems all come from the same loot pile which is why that's how hackers can go up to a military crate crack it open and they're all daisy chain linked to all the other military crates and so they can then oh i don't know loot every single one of them again um, i i can't loot because i know if i touch those those items i'm gonna get dc'd and i can't afford to lose the five minutes so i i've literally now got to get out with all the items that i have and that's all i get see oh there you go i didn't even loot server connection lost and it's not my internet are you starting to see the fact that nikita there is a reoccurring issue with your back end it is not my internet it is not my client it is not my end it is on yours it is on your back end this is squarely in your court the ball is in your side of the field okay this is something that you need to fucking fix and i mean now because players cannot play your game and if we cannot play your game i'm sorry i i don't see the point in playing the game anymore because you're adding more shit on top of shit on top of shit on top of shit when you haven't even fixed the foundations of the house that you're building it on top of what's the point in putting a swamp cooler on the roof of your house when your foundations is made of straw you need to fix your back end you need to make the back end fucking bulletproof i mean for crying out loud i could build a better multiplayer back end using aws with amazon and if you think i'm fucking joking i'm an aws developer this is what i do that's my day job i code aws i work with aws and i'm fucking telling you aws even on their lowest end machines makes yours look like dog shit and i know you're i, kn I even know the competitors there you go i lost two minutes i even know the competitors that you're using why because i use wireshark i'm not stupid like i said i'm a fucking developer i know exactly where all my connections are going i know exactly what everything's going on on this machine and no, this is not a virtual machine. This is my actual gaming machine. This is the machine that I use to stream with. Okay? This is the machine, this is the PC that I stream with. Okay? So I'm fucking telling you. And I just got DC'd again. Fixed, isn't it? Fixed, isn't it? <laughs> You're a fucking joke, Nikita. This game's a fucking joke. Yeah, yeah, you, you showed off what the, the best of what Unity can do when you add fucking ray tracing and all this shit into it. Okay, yeah. Big, yahoo, big whoop. You know what? There are a lot of games out there that look amazing once you add fucking ray tracing to it. Case in point, Watch Dogs 2. Fucking, um, it, 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 Watch Dogs 1, Watch Dogs 2, modified with ray tracing, makes your game look like fucking Minecraft, okay? Trust me, doesn't fucking matter, okay? It, I mean, this is what, my, my third or fourth disconnect now? So yeah, your back end's working fine, your servers are working fine, it's all working as intended, right? No, it ain't. No, it fucking ain't. Right? Problem is, most of your fucking players, are, I'm sorry, they have the IQ of a fucking goldfish. Okay? They don't know what the fuck's going on. And you know what? Here, I will bring up my... I will bring up my apps folder. I will bring up... Where's my Wireshark? Is. I'll bring up my Wireshark. I will load up all interfaces shown. One minute nineteen. So I've got a minute nineteen to get to boat or dead man's place, which is right there. Now I'm literally looking at connection. I'm looking at all the redirect traffic. Okay, there's boat. Hopefully I can get to it. 
35 seconds. Come on. Right. Couldn't loot for shit. That's fine. Couldn't actually play the game because I get massive constant fucking disconnects. That's fine. Working as intended, right? Okay. This is Wireshark. Okay. Quite literally, any kind of connection that's going on, you name it, I'm fucking watching for it. Okay. This isn't hacking tools. There you go. Sync wind socks. Okay, there's stack pen. Another stack pen. All right. More sequence liners. Okay. This is an ex that's an internal connection. Where's the externals? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's my Azeroth connector for my other apps. Okay, boom. Here we go. Ignored unknown records. There it is. Right there. Right fucking there. Your backends are fucking sending out retransmission. There's something wrong with your server backends. It's right fucking here. Literally right fucking there. Right fucking there. In black and white. Okay. Your servers are quite literally having fucking heart attacks daily there we go okay yeah I'm looking at the entire traffic of what's going on from that connection there we go echoed out which means yeah your servers are sending back please resend please resend please resend you're basically DDoSing yourself you're literally causing your own fucking network to, 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 to cave in on itself because you're using second-hand, cheap, third-party, crappy fucking servers. So, do you consider this fixed? No. Would I consider this fixed? <laughs> God, no. Do yourself a favor, Nikita. Okay, seriously. Do yourself a favor. Get your shit fixed. That's all I need to say. Get your shit fixed. So long story short, Nikita. Your stuff's not fixed. Whoever's working your mainframe, whatever development team you've got working on your mainframe, you need to fire them because they're lying to you. What they've done is they've set up a, a, a passive redirect for certain packets, okay? They've put up a filter list saying packets with these distributions, da -da 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 -da, from this range to this range, redirect here, okay? It's a common attempt to band-aid against the DDoS attacks, but it doesn't fucking work, okay? doesn't fucking work because the moment bot a decent DDoS or a botnet group realizes okay from this range to this range is being redirected we'll just flip we'll just change but those filters are still active because whoever's in your IT department hasn't decided to turn them off so you're getting a mass amount of people from wherever it is around the world that cannot fucking play seriously learn IT it's not hard you can learn this shit from a free course from Allison not sponsored but Hey, Allison, if you want to sponsor me, hit me up. Seriously. It, 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 a, 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 a simple fucking... You could, be, you could be doing an IT course for a week and no more than your, 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 your security team. They're a fucking joke. End of. So, that's all I need to say on this matter. Nikita, fix your fucking shit. It's broken, and it's broken as fuck. And I've just literally proven it to you with a simple Wireshark network analysis. If my Wireshark can analyze the redirects, why can't your own monitoring team? Let me guess, you don't have a monitoring team, do you? What did my £150 pay for for my Edge of Darkness account? And I do have an Edge of Darkness account. Take a look. Right there. Edge of Darkness. 
limited edition. Yeah, limited to unlimited. So... Explain to me, the Nikita. Because... I'm sorry, but... You're a Muppet. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. I've seen better security on indie games like true real indie games like 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 fucking uh, um oh god what is it called there was a really really cool indie game that i love playing it's like shovel knight but it weren't shovel knight it was um oh shoot what was it called give me a second it's on my steam library ironically it's in my steam library Monster Sanctuary, there you go. Monster Sanctuary has better back end control when you go online and do multiplayer. That's basically a little 8 bit pixel era Pokemon uh, uh, um, battle arena RPG kind of thing. It's a really cool game. Um, they have better back end network analysis and control than you do. This is why when Call of Duty brings out their version, I'm sorry, it's going to fucking blow you away. You're a straw fucking hut sitting in front of a fucking tornado that is going to tear you apart like tissue paper. Mark my words. You need to fire someone because they are lying to you. Or you're lying to your player base. Either way, something bad's going to happen. See, you've got to understand, when it comes to a video game, you've got a little pendulum. It's the pendulum. The pendulum's your player base. Sometimes it swings good. Lots of players, lots of fun, lots of action. And then when shit breaks, it starts to swing this way. Which means no players, no good, no fun, no profit, no money. You go belly up, you end up fucking selling your IP. Just like what you did with your old Facebook game. In the business, we call that foreshadowing. <laughs>